Bonjour à tous, hi everyone and welcome to la leçon du jour, so your French lesson of the day. And today we will see l'alphabet, so a really useful one. So let's start now. A. Répétez, repeat. A. B. Repeat. B. C. Repeat. C. D. Repeat. D. E. Repeat. E. F. Repeat. F. G. Repeat. G. H. Repeat. H. I. Repeat. I. J. Repeat. J. K. Repeat. K. L. Repeat. L. M. Repeat. M. N. Repeat. N. O. Repeat. O. P. Repeat. P. Q. Repeat. Q. R. Repeat. R. S. Repeat. S. T. Repeat. T. U. Repeat. U. V. Repeat. V. W. Repeat. W. X. Repeat. X. Y. Repeat. Y. Z. Repeat. Z. Okay, I hope it was clear for you. Don't be afraid to watch it one more time if it's not. Okay, have a nice day. Bonjour à tous. Hi everyone. So today, la leçon du jour will present you les voyelles. Uh, so get ready. It's a long one, but interesting one. So, on y va. A. Repeat. A. E. Repeat. E. I. Repeat. I. O. Repeat. O. U. Repeat. U. I. Repeat. I. Okay, so in this case, of course, the letter is Y. All right, but then the sound is I. Okay, so now. Let's see how they react when we combine them with a uh, e. Okay, so in this case you will get the sound e. So open e. Okay, repeat. Same sound. Sound e. Repeat e. Okay, here nothing of course. Wa. Repeat. Wa. Ui. Repeat. Oui. Nothing, of course. Then, if we combine them with U, we get the sound O. Repeat. O. Okay. And then, E. Repeat. E. Of course, nothing there. U. Repeat. U. Nothing and nothing. So, let's skip to the next category. If you combine them with N, you will get this en. Okay, so it's actually quite important that everything is going in your nose. <laughs> okay, so you get only one sound and it's en. Okay, repeat en. Mm -hmm. And then same sound here, 
that's the reason why they will have the same color after you will see and it's en same thing repeat en okay and then you get the sound un repeat un okay here you will have this on on okay and then you will get this uh, so it's actually the same as uh, previously with en okay same sound uh, all right and then uh, same sound as en and un okay so for these three ones the sound is uh, okay next category so e plus voyelle plus n okay so in this case is uh, what the voyelle is still in capital letter but of course it should be uh, shouldn't be like that it's just to show you that it's there so it's yan yan so this e in front give you the y y y sound okay so you get this yan yan repeat yan okay and then you get this yan yan repeat yan okay nothing there and then yon yon repeat yon okay that's it all right i do hope it was useful for you don't be afraid to watch it again and again hi everyone bonjour à tous et bienvenue dans la leçon du jour okay so today we will see les pronoms personnels sujets uh, if you don't know them yet i'm just hoping that you will well know them by heart after this lesson okay so it's not that difficult so let's start with the first person and the first person is je repeat je second person is tu repeat tu okay and then third person we've got the masculine form it's il repeat il okay and the feminine form it's L repeat L okay and then the first person of the plural it's nous repeat nous okay so you've got this final s but you don't pronounce it okay nous mm -hmm. and then comes vous repeat vous okay and then well masculine and feminine form masculine form it's il okay same pronunciation as for the singular il and then feminine l repeat l okay so je tu il elle nous vous il elle let's hope everything is clear for you now if it's not watch it again and again okay have a nice day bonjour bonjour uh, hi everyone so today la leçon du jour will present you les pronoms personnels toniques so for the first person we've got moi okay repeat moi okay so keep in mind that this uh, o i sound is wa 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 okay so if you combine it with m you get moi moi repeat okay second person is toi okay same concept so wa 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 combined with t and then you get this toi toi okay repeat parfait uh, third person so we've got the as usual difference between the masculine form and the feminine form so masculine form it's lui okay so u plus i gives you this lui, 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 okay, so you get this lui, all right, and then for the feminine form, it's quite easy, because it's the same as uh, les pronoms personnels sujets, it's elle, okay, so feminine form, elle, repeat, elle, all right, and then you've got nous, all right, so keep in mind that final s is not pronounced, all right, so you get this nous, repeat nous okay and then vous 
Same thing, final S is not pronounced, so vous. Okay? And finally, same thing, difference between the masculine form and the feminine form, but then the masculine is different, the feminine is the same as uh, les pronoms personnels sujets. So, masculine form is e. Alright, final X is not pronounced. E. Repeat. E. Okay? And then, feminine form, L. Final S is not pronounced. L. Repeat. L. Okay. So, moi, toi, lui, elle, nous, vous, eux, elle. Okay. Just hope everything is clear for today. Have a nice day. Bonjour à tous euh, et bienvenue pour la leçon du jour. So welcome and uh, we'll see today uh, les articles définis. So they are quite useful and let's see how they go. So as usual uh, in French we've got the difference between masculine, feminine and then the plural form. Okay, so we will start with the masculine form. So le is masculine, la is feminine, les is plural. So first the masculine. Okay, so le or then we will see that in some cases usually when uh, words are starting with a voyeur or then h or h plus uh, une voyelle in this case you should but then be careful it's not all the time in most of the cases you should put l apostrophe all right so let's have some examples now okay so le jour repeat le jour, okay, and then le père, repeat, le père, okay, and then for the last example, I choose on purpose uh, a word starting with the H, okay, and then you get l'homme, repeat, l'homme, okay. So feminine form, it's la, as we saw previously, and then same concept, you know, in some cases, when the words are starting with a voyeur, or then h plus une voyelle, as we say in French, you will have to put this form l apostrophe. Okay, so let's have a look. La vie, repeat. La vie. Okay. And then la France, repeat. La France, okay. And uh, well, an example of a word starting with a voyelle, so it's ami, and then you get l'ami. Repeat. L'ami. Okay. So pluriel, as we say in French, and as you can see, it's uh, les. All right, so let's see how it goes. So usually, if you've got a, a voyeur right after, you will have to do this uh, liaison, all right? So the small link between the two, two words, so it goes like zzz, all right? So you get this les idées. Repeat. Les idées. Okay? And then next word, les personnes. Repeat. Les personnes. Okay. And last one, les hôpitaux. Repeat. Les hôpitaux. Okay. So let's hope everything is clear now. Masculin, le. Féminin, la. Pluriel, les. Okay? Alright, so have a nice day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous. Hi everyone. So uh, let's start now with uh, la leçon du jour and then we will see les articles indéfinis. So quite useful. Uh, les articles indéfinis. So we've got the masculine form, it's un. Feminine form, it's une. And then plural form, it's des. Okay, so let's start with the, the masculine one. All right, uh, masculine is un, and then you get 
un chien. Repeat. Un chien. OK. And then un ami. OK. So you can see that we make a small link between un and ami. OK. So no break between the two words and let's get uh, let's <laughs> let's go for it. So it's un ami. Repeat. Okay, same thing uh, for the last example. Un homme. Repeat. Un homme. Okay, so now feminine form, it's une. Okay, and we get these examples. Une voiture. Repeat. Une voiture. Okay, and then une adresse. So it's a little bit the same thing. You, you, you see there is no real break between the, 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 the two words. It's une adresse, like if it was only one word. Une adresse, okay? Une adresse. Repeat. Une adresse, okay? And then, une femme. Repeat. Une femme, okay? And for the plural form, it's des. Okay, and then first example, you will have to make this liaison as well, the small link between the words, so it's des enfants. Repeat. Des enfants. Okay, so final T and final S is not pronounced. One more time. Des enfants. Mm -hmm. uh, next one. Des idées. Repeat. Des idées. Okay. So final E uh, and final S is, uh, are not pronounced as well. Des idées. Okay. Repeat one. One more time. Okay. And then the last one it's des nationalités. Repeat. Des nationalités. Okay. So. Just remember that les articles indéfinis are masculin 1, féminin 1, pluriel des. So let's hope everything is clear now. Uh, if you're not sure, well, <laughs> watch it again. All right, have a nice day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to la leçon du jour. So today we will focus on a, a tricky thing, but a quite a useful one. So les prépositions avec les villes et les pays. So which uh, preposition you should use when you introduce towns or uh, countries. So let's start with a, a town. If you want to introduce a town pour une ville, then you will have to use uh, the preposition a. Okay, and then just put the, the town. All right, so let's take an example. A Paris, A Helsinki. Okay, so it's actually quite simple. All right. For the countries, it's uh, a bit more difficult because, as in uh, general in French language, we've got the difference between uh, masculine, feminine, and plural. So it does mean, and maybe it sounds a bit strange for uh, some uh, students, but we do have some feminine countries, masculine countries, and plural countries. Okay, so let's try to see how it's possible to uh, see the gender of a country. And so the best way to see that is uh, to spot the, the final letter. Okay, in this case, France is ending with a E, uh, as you can see, and it's in, in red. Um, and it does mean that, uh, well, this country is feminine, all right? So the preposition you will have to use with this country will be en. Okay, repeat. En. Okay. After that, let's take a, an example with uh, Canada. Okay, so what you can see that it's ending with a, but actually the most important thing is that it's not ending with a as uh, with France. Okay, so it does mean that uh, this country is uh, masculine and the preposition you will have to use is o. Okay, so you write it a u, but then you pronounce it o. Repeat o. Okay, and then Last category, like uh, Etats-Unis, uh, well, this category is uh, plural, and then it does mean that the preposition you will have to use is O, okay? So even if it's ending with a X, you don't pronounce it, okay? It's O. All right, so let's see how they work. So 
pour un pays féminin. So as we saw, you will have to use la préposition en, ok, and then add the country right after. So let's have some example. En France. Repeat. En Finlande. Repeat. Ok. Masculine countries, so as we saw previously, uh, preposition O and then the country. Ok, so let's take examples like O Japon, repeat. O Japon, ok. And then O Luxembourg, repeat. O Luxembourg, ok, alright. And last category, so as we saw these uh, plural countries, and so it's O, so R-U-X, but you don't pronounce the X like that, and then the name of the country, okay? So let's have some examples. So uh, in the first example, uh, as I said, X is not pronounced like that, but then if you've got a country like Etats Unis, okay, uh, then it's starting with the sound of a vocal, a uh, voyal, sorry, and then it does mean that you will have to uh, put this small link between O and Etats Unis, okay, this liaison, so you get aux Etats Unis, repeat, aux Etats Unis, okay, and if you listen carefully, you can see that when I pronounce Etats Unis, it's the same, okay, there is this liaison between this final S of ETA and then this U, okay, aux Etats Unis, repeat, aux Etats Unis, okay, and for the second one it's actually more simple because you get O Pays-Bas, okay, so no link, uh, no liaison between the words, so it's O Pays-Bas, repeat, O Pays-Bas, okay, I hope it's clear, and uh, don't be afraid to watch it again and again, have a nice day, okay, bye bye. Bonjour à tous and welcome to la leçon du jour. So today we will treat or we will see the difference between uh, qu'est-ce que, que and quoi. Okay, because some students asked me that a few days ago and I wanted to release a little module regarding this topic. So let's try to see together what is the difference of use between them. Uh, so usually we use this qu'est-ce que, que or quoi when we want to ask an, uh, an explanation regarding something. So the most polite form you know, if we can say that, is uh, the use of que, okay? The second uh, form is qu'est-ce que, so the, well, basic form that we usually use when we speak, okay? And then the third form is uh, the use of quoi, okay? Which is considered as uh, familier, as we say in French, okay? So first example, if you want to ask uh, what a person is uh, doing, uh, you can ask the first question, which is the, the more polite one. The more polite one, it's uh, que faites-vous? Repeat. Que faites-vous? Okay, don't be afraid to raise your, your voice a little bit at the end, okay? Que faites-vous? Repeat. Okay. Qu'est-ce que vous faites? Repeat. Qu'est-ce que vous faites? Okay. And then the third one. Vous faites quoi? Repeat. Vous faites quoi? Okay. Second example, it's uh, guess. Repeat, guess. The common one is uh, qu'est-ce que c'est. Repeat, qu'est-ce que c'est. Okay. And the third one is c'est quoi. Repeat, c'est quoi. Okay. So actually, it's all a question of. Uh, uh, situations. You've got to know exactly uh, when you should use the, use the polite form or the normal form or the more, the more uh, uh, spoken form. Uh, it does depend on the, on the situation. But then all these forms are actually correct. Okay? So have a nice day. Bye bye. Hi everyone, bonjour à tous and welcome to your French lesson of the day. Bienvenue dans la leçon du jour and today we will try to see what we call les liaisons. So let's see how it goes. So the idea of the les liaisons is that if you get a simple sentence like this one, il adore le café, okay? So you could pronounce it like that, so each word separately like il adore le café, but then actually, usually, French people tend to make this link, like you see here, so between ils, il 
and Ador are. So the reason for that is that Ador, you can see that it's starting with a vowel, and in this case it's possible to make this small link between the S and the A. So actually liaison means link. So if you want to link the words, in this case you will get Ils adorent le café. So you can see the, the difference between the first one which was Ils adorent le café and the second one which is Ils adorent le café. Okay, so let's see now six examples. So the first one, let's pronounce it like uh, if we didn't make the liaison first. Okay, so Ils ont trois enfants. Okay, and then if we make the liaison, then you can see that it's possible to make actually two liaisons in this sentence. The first one between il and on, and the second one between trois and enfant. Okay, so we get ils ont trois enfants. Repeat. Ils ont trois enfants. Okay. Second sentence. Nous allons chez elle. Okay. So same thing, let's see how it goes if we put some liaison. Same thing here, it's possible to do two liaisons. So the first one between nous and allons. So you get nous allons. And then the second one between chez and elle. And you get chez elle. Okay, so let's read the whole sentence now together. Nous allons chez elle. Repeat. Nous allons chez elle. Okay. Third example. Quelle heure est il? Okay. And then let's see how it goes with the liaison. So it's actually quite easy to figure because you get this trait d'union between e and il. So actually we'll have to pronounce est-il. Est-il. Okay. So the whole sentence sounds like quelle heure est-il? All right, and then, as it's a question, it would be better to raise your voice at the end of the sentence, so it would sound like Quelle heure est-il? Repeat. Quelle heure est-il? Okay. Next example. Il est neuf heures. Okay, and so with the liaison, so you can see that the liaison is coming between neuf and er, and actually it's quite tricky in this case because uh, we will change the sound, so we won't pronounce the F, but it would sound a bit more like V, like a V, okay? So if you make the liaison, it would sound like Il est neuf heures, neuf heures, okay, repeat. Il est neuf heures, okay? Next example, c'est une grande famille. Okay, so let's see how it goes now. So you can see this liaison between C and une. Okay, so the liaison would sound like T. -t. Okay, so you would get this C'est une. C'est une. Okay, and so the whole sentence C'est une grande famille. Repeat. C'est une grande famille. Okay. And last but not least, elle peut quand elle veut. Okay, so let's see where the liaison goes and it goes between quand and elle. Okay, and here the D would be pronounced a bit more like a T. Okay, quand elle, quand elle. All right, so we get elle peut quand elle veut. Repeat. Elle peut quand elle veut. Okay. So, all these examples, let's repeat them together. The first one. Ils ont trois enfants. Repeat. Ils ont trois enfants. Second one. Nous allons chez elle. Repeat. Nous allons chez elle. Numéro trois. Quelle heure est-il? Repeat. Quelle heure est-il? Ok. Numéro 4. Il est 9 heures. Il est 9 heures. Repeat. 
il est 9 heures. Ok Numéro 5. C'est une grande famille. Repeat. C'est une grande famille. Ok Numéro 6. Elle peut quand elle veut. Repeat. Elle peut quand elle veut. Ok I do hope it was clear for you. Bye bye and see you soon. Bonjour à tous. Hello everyone. So uh, today la leçon du jour will present you la préposition A plus les articles définis. Ok, so I hope you're ready. Let's start. Ok, so if you want to uh, use uh, la préposition A, ok, with the feminine form, so article défini, remember there are le, la, les, ok, so in this case it's the feminine form, so it's la, alright, so it's actually quite simple because it won't change, so you will get sentences like je suis à la plage, je parle à la vendeuse, ok, so for the first one, let's try to make the liaison, and we'll get je suis à la plage, repeat, je suis à la plage, ok, and then the second one, je parle à la vendeuse, repeat, je parle à la vendeuse. All right. It's becoming a bit, a bit more tricky when uh, we get the masculine form. So, if you combine a, so the preposition a, and then the article défini le, okay, you will get o. Okay. So let's have two examples. Je suis au travail. Okay. So I, as you can see, I'm making the liaison. Je suis au travail, repeat. Ok. And then the second one. Je parle au concierge, repeat. Je parle au concierge. Alright, so remember that A plus le égale O. Ok, so actually O is the preposition you should use in this case for the masculine. Ok. And then the plural form, it's the same way as the masculine, so it does change. So if you combine A plus LE, then you will get O, alright? So as usual, final X is not pronounced. It can be pronounced if you will have, after that, some words starting with a vowel or then H plus une voyelle, okay? So in this case, you will have to make the, the liaison. So uh, in this case, first sentence... You don't really need to make any liaison between O and Peiba because as you can see Peiba is uh, starting with a P, okay? But then we will have to, to make the liaison between Sui and O. So let's see how it goes. Je suis au Peiba. Repeat. Je suis au Peiba. Okay? And then the second one, well actually you will have to make the liaison in this case between O and enfant, okay? Je parle aux enfants. Repeat. Je parle aux enfants. Okay, so let's hope that everything is clear now. Don't be afraid to watch it again. Okay, have a nice day. Bye bye. Hi everyone, bonjour à tous and welcome to la leçon du jour. So today we will see les indicateurs de temps. So quite useful, so let's start now. Uh, so aujourd'hui is today, so if you want to express something that will or that did or that does happen today, you've got these possibilities. So the first one is ce matin, this morning, okay? Repeat, ce matin, ce matin, okay? If it's in the afternoon, so it's cet après-midi. Repeat, cet après-midi. Okay, if it's in the evening, so it will be ce soir. Repeat, ce soir. Okay, if it's during the night, so it will be cette nuit. Repeat, cette nuit. Okay, so if it was yesterday, yesterday is hier. Repeat, hier. Okay, so it's quite funny because actually it does start with a H, but then in French we don't pronounce H, so we've got the sound hier, hier, repeat, hier, okay, so hier matin, repeat, hier matin, okay, hier après-midi, repeat, hier après-midi, hier soir, repeat, hier soir, 
la nuit dernière. Repeat. La nuit dernière. OK? And so if it's for tomorrow, tomorrow is demain. Repeat. Demain. OK? So it's ending with this A-I-N. Keep in mind that we do pronounce it like un, un. OK? So it's demain, demain. Repeat. Demain. OK? So demain matin. Repeat. Demain matin. OK? And after that, demain après-midi. Repeat. Demain après-midi. OK? Demain soir. Repeat. Demain soir. OK? And then finally, la nuit prochaine. Repeat. La nuit prochaine. OK? So, for the pronunciation, it's prochaine. It's open. It's A. OK? Prochaine. So, la nuit prochaine. Repeat. Alright, so let's hope everything is clear for you. Don't be afraid to watch the video again and again, so uh, and let's keep in touch, ok? Bye bye! Hi everyone, bonjour à tous et bienvenue pour la leçon du jour. So today we will see les adjectifs de nationalité. Uh, well, the idea is to show you uh, how these, uh, these adjectives uh, change from the masculine form to the feminine form. So let's start now. First group is masculine form. Un, feminine form, n. Okay, so repeat. Masculine, un, feminine, n. Okay, so let's have some examples. Cubain, repeat. Cuban. Okay, so you can see these small icons next to n. Uh, it's a speaker, loudspeaker, so the idea is that it indicates you that uh, the sound is changing, okay? So, second category now, it's E, and then feminine form, ES. Okay, so repeat, masculine, E, and then the feminine, ES. Okay, so let's have an example. Portugais, repeat. Portugaise. Repeat. Okay. And then en, so a n d, finally is not pronounced, so it's en, and feminine form is and. Okay, so you can see that the final e in the feminine form only gives you the possibility to pronounce the d. Okay, and. All right. So let's have an example. Allemand, repeat. Allemande, repeat. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now we've got wa, so o e s final s is not pronounced wa. Was. Okay. Chinois, repeat. Mm -hmm. Chinoise. Repeat. Okay. And now we've got yin. Okay, so remember that the first i gives you the sound y y y. Okay, and then you've got yin yin. Masculine form. Repeat yin. Okay. Feminine form it's yen yen. Okay. Remember when you've got like here, uh, double N, uh, then you've got the sound E, E, before uh, of the E, uh, okay, so you get this YEN, YEN, okay, so let's have some example, ITALIEN, repeat, ITALIEN, repeat, okay, et un, Repeat. E1. Okay. Feminine form. EN. EN. It's quite difficult because we've got this E and then right after we've got this E. Okay. So take the time to practice this EN. Okay. So let's have an example now. It's Korean. Korean. Okay, repeat, Korean. Mm -hmm. And then the final, uh, final, sorry, feminine form is Korean. 
repeat korean okay and then we get un repeat un okay and the feminine is in in okay so example is argentin argentin repeat mm -hmm. feminine form argentine argentine all right and then we've got the category so you can see the the icon is changing now uh, in which the masculine form and the feminine form can be written differently but then they are pronounced the same way okay so in this case you've got the masculine form it's ol it's ol and then the feminine form even if you put the final e uh, it's ol as well okay so let's see espagnol masculine form repeat and then the feminine form is espagnol okay the same way repeat all right and then we've got the k okay <laughs> so final c <laughs> quite difficult to pronounce like that without anything before but anyway it's k okay and then feminine form is as well k okay so let's take an example it would be easier to to show you how to pronounce it okay so we you we do have <laughs> grec okay so it's ending with a k k k grec okay and feminine form is the same it's grec okay and then uh, well actually you can see e uh, and e uh, so what does it mean it does mean that uh, at the masculine and the feminine form uh, these adjectives are, are written the same way okay so of course they, they are pronounced uh, the same way as well so you get Swiss masculine form and then Swiss feminine form okay so same way of writing and then same pronunciation as well okay so now it's your turn Swiss repeat all right okay so don't be afraid to watch it again and again have a nice day bye bye hi everyone uh, bonjour à tous et bienvenue dans la leçon du jour so today we will uh, try to focus and discover les adjectifs démonstratifs uh, well actually they're not that difficult it's just like in in english uh, they use this this and these so uh, as usual in French uh, we will have the difference between uh, the masculine form the feminine form and the plural form so let's discover them now okay so regarding the masculine form you will have actually two forms the first one is se and the second one is set okay so repeat se and then set all right feminine form set okay so repeat set all right so you can see that uh, actually even if you write them differently uh, the feminine form set and then the other the second option for the masculine form set are pronounced the same way okay so it's set and then finally the plural form it's se all right so it's this uh it's open it's a eh, a eh, okay so don't be afraid to open your mouth and it's pronounced like se okay so repeat se all right so let's see now some uh, examples so masculine first example ce chien est beau okay so basic example no problem in this sentence second example cet ordinateur est cher so actually in this sentence you can see the reason why there are two forms for uh, the masculine so in this case as you can see ordinateur is starting with o so vowel in this case you will have to put this form the second form of the masculine so it's set all right so you pronounce it like cet ordinateur est cher okay so actually no pose no break between the, the, the set and ordinateur all right so let's repeat it together set ordinateur est cher okay and then last example 
cet hôtel est réputé. Ok, so it's the same thing. Keep in mind that even if uh, hotel is starting with H, H is actually not pronounced. So the first sound of the of the word is uh, O. So it does mean that it's a vowel. And in this case, you will have to use set as well. Okay, so you pronounce it like cet hotel est réputé. So now it's your turn to repeat. Cet hôtel est réputé. Okay. So let's see the feminine form. And it's actually a piece of cake because it's quite easy. Uh, first example. Cette femme est française. Repeat. Cette femme est française. Okay. And then the second example. Cette voiture est bleue. Repeat. Cette voiture est bleue. Okay, and then pluriel. Ces enfants sont gentils. So it's actually open, it's c'est, okay? And in the first example, in this sentence, you will have to make this small link, la liaison between c'est and enfant, alright? Ces enfants sont gentils. Repeat. Ces enfants sont gentils. Okay? And then the second example. Ces livres sont intéressants. Okay? And in this case as well, you can hear this small link between sont and intéressant. Sont, sont un. Okay? So let's repeat it together. Ces livres sont intéressants. Repeat. Ces livres sont intéressants. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope it was clear. Don't be afraid to watch this video again and again. Have a nice day. Bonjour à tous uh, et bienvenue dans la leçon du jour. Hi everyone. So today we will uh, try to focus on uh, les adjectifs possessifs. So uh, actually it's the first part because I'm planning to release a second lesson for this one. So in, in this lesson I will uh, basically introduce les adjectifs possessifs. And in the second lesson, as they can be quite tricky uh, in some situations, I will focus on the, the, the use of uh, les adjectifs possessifs. Okay? So, for now, let's uh, discover them together. So, masculine form for the first person, it's mon. Repeat. Mon. Okay? And then comes ton. Repeat. Ton. Okay, and then third person, son. Repeat, son. Okay, and then notre. Repeat, notre. Okay, and then votre. Repeat, votre. Okay, and then leur. Repeat, leur. Alright, so we've got mon, ton, son, so keep in mind that everything is in your nose. <laughs> and then notre, open, this this O is not that uh, that closed, okay, it's quite open. Notre, votre, and then leur, this EU is E, leur, okay. Feminine form now, ma, repeat, ma, okay, and then ta, Repeat. Ta. Okay. And then sa. Repeat. Sa. Okay. And then notre. So you can see that it's the same form as uh, the masculine form. Repeat. Notre. Okay. Votre. Same form. Repeat. Votre. And then leur. Same form as well. Leur. Repeat. Okay. Pluriel. So you've got mais. Repeat. Mais. So you can see that you don't pronounce the final S. Okay, but it this combination a S gives you the, the sound E. Okay. Mais. Repeat. Okay. Te. Okay, so same sound, this open E. Okay, don't be afraid to open your mouth. Te, 
All right, repeat. Mm -hmm. Say, same thing. Repeat. Say, okay. And then, no. <coughs> Oh my god. In this case actually this uh, o is quite close and it's uh, it goes uh, a bit lower. It's no. Okay, repeat. All right. And then vo repeat. Vo. Okay. And finally leur. Repeat. Leur. So actually you can see that uh, there I mean this final leur is pronounced the same way as the feminine and masculine form even if we put this uh, final s okay we don't pronounce it we will pronounce it if right after the word is starting with a a vowel in this case we'll make this liaison okay but usually if it's just like that we don't pronounce it okay so that's it for this lesson let's repeat it together now masculine mon ton son notre votre leur okay and then the feminine form ma ta sa notre votre leur okay and finally mais tes c'est nos vos leur okay so I do hope that everything is clear and don't be afraid to watch it again and again. Have a nice day and I will get a glass of water now. Okay, bye bye. La leçon du jour. So today I will try to explain you how uh, la négation works in French. So you will see it's not that difficult, but there are a few things that uh, we should uh, uh, concentrate on. Okay, so let's start. So la négation is uh, actually based on two parts. The first one is ne, and then comes the verb. And the second part is coming after the verb, and it's pas. All right, so let's take a few examples. The first one would be classic sentence and not that difficult. Je suis français. Okay, so the idea is that you will put ne before the verb, and then this pas after the verb. And so you just get this je ne suis pas français. Second example. J'ai 10 ans. So in this sentence it's quite interesting because you can see that you've got j apostrophe before the verb just because e needs to disappear because avoir start with the vowel so e and a cannot <laughs> be together so in this case it's the same same thing for the negation for the first part and then you get this je n'ai pas dix ans so the concept is still the same you've got this ne before the verb the pas after but then e uh, needs to disappear third example j'habite à Paris this is the same thing so the fact is that, of course, habite is starting with a ash, so ash is not a vowel, but the first sound is the sound of a, and so it does mean that it will behave in the same way as we had for avoir, and then you get je n'habite pas à Paris. Alright, so this is the first part. Second part is uh, a bit more difficult, but you will see that it's not the end of the world. Um, it is with the passé composé. So if you start a sentence like Je suis allé au cinéma and you would like to put la négation Je ne suis pas allé au cinéma. Okay? So the idea is that you put ne and pas before and after être in this case because aller uses être at the passé composé. Alright? Let's take a second example. J'ai fait du sport. Je n'ai pas fait de sport. Okay? So same idea and same thing that we had in the previous examples with the, the présent. So you have avoir in this case, so it does mean that a uh, needs to disappear, but then 
but then it's the, still the, the same concept so it's ne and pas before and after avoir ok and last but not least nous avons mangé hier same thing nous n'avons pas mangé hier ok so let's hope that everything is clear now don't be afraid to watch it again and again if you're not sure Hi everyone, bonjour à tous and welcome to la leçon du jour. So today we'll see together les comparatifs. So if you want to compare, actually first part or first situation is if you want to use a name, un nom. Okay, so in this case you will get j'ai plus de chance que vous. Repeat, j'ai plus de chance que vous. Okay, so you've got to use this plus and then preposition de and a little bit after que. Okay, j'ai plus de chance que vous. Okay. Second situation. J'ai autant de chance que vous. Okay, so let's pronounce it normally now. J'ai autant de chance que vous. Repeat. J'ai autant de chance que vous. Okay. And then the last one, it's j'ai moins de chance que vous. Repeat. J'ai moins de chance que vous. Okay. So keep in Keep in mind that if you're using a name and if you want to compare it, so it's plus de, autant de, moins de, and then after that, don't forget to put this que, okay? Second situation, if you want to use an adjective, an adjective, so first example, it's je suis plus patient que toi. Repeat. Je suis plus patient que toi. Okay, so in this case, we only use this plus, then the adjective, and after that you put the que, okay? Second situation, je suis aussi patient que toi. Repeat, je suis aussi patient que toi. Okay, so we'll actually try to pronounce this sentence and we will make this liaison. Je suis aussi patient que toi. So you can see that between suis and aussi, we've got this liaison, suis aussi, okay? So let's repeat it together. Je suis aussi patient que toi. Repeat. Je suis aussi patient que toi, okay? And the last one, it's je suis moins patient que toi. Repeat. Je suis moins patient que toi. Okay, so keep in mind that if you're using an adjective, you've got to use plus, aussi, moins, and then you get to use que, okay? And then the last categories, if you're using a verb, so avec un verbe, first possibility, je parle plus que lui, repeat, je parle plus que lui, okay? Je parle autant que lui, repeat, je parle autant que lui, Ok. Je parle moins que lui. Repeat. Je parle moins que lui. Ok. So let's see again together with a verb. Plus que, autant que, and then moins que. Alright. So I do hope everything is clear. Don't be afraid to watch the video one more time. Have a nice day and hope to see you here. You meet you soon. Bye bye. Hi everybody, bonjour à tous and uh, welcome to uh, your French lesson of the day, la leçon du jour. So today I thought that we could uh, actually see these adverbs de manière because they are quite useful and not that difficult to uh, learn. So let's start with the construction, okay, la formation. So actually if you want to build a, an adverb, you've got to first use the adjective, okay, the adjective and add the masculine form, okay, so I took this uh, adjective lent, which is slow, okay? So the masculine form it's lent, L-E-N-T, okay? So right after that we'll see the feminine form of this adjective. So usually you've got to add uh, E at the end, okay? So we get lente, all right? And then the technique for the construction or formation of this adverb is that after the feminine form, so of the adjective, you just put this Ment, M E N T at the end. And so the result we got is lentement. Repeat. Lentement. Okay. And then, well, usually in French we don't really pronounce this E between T 
and M, so we get this pronunciation lentement. Repeat, lentement. Okay, so let's see with other adjectives and adverbs. So let's take do. Okay, so you will just repeat after me. Do. So it's the masculine form. Okay, do. Repeat. Okay, and then we'll get the the adjective, the feminine form. It's dus. Repeat. Dus. Okay, and then the adverb. Doucement. Repeat. Doucement. Okay, so it's the same thing. We don't really pronounce the uh, between C and M. Okay, and then premier. Repeat. Premier. Okay. Première. Repeat. Première. Okay. Premièrement. Repeat. Premièrement. All right. So now, certain. Okay, so we get the sound a i n. It's un un. Okay, certain. Repeat. Okay, feminine form. It's certaine. N n certaine. Repeat. Okay, and then adverb. It's certainement. Repeat. Certainement. Okay. So let's see the next one. It's actually easy. <laughs> Facile is easy, and in this case, it's quite easy because the, as you can see, the masculine form and the feminine form are the same. So it's masculine facile. Repeat. Feminine form is facile. Repeat. Okay, and then you get facilement. Okay, next one is a bit more difficult, but not that much. So masculine form is franc. So you don't pronounce the final C, okay? Franc, repeat. Okay. Feminine form is franche, okay? So I insist a little bit on the sh at the end, but it's that's the just the idea, you know, to 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 show you how you should pronounce it, okay? But then it it should be pronounced like franche, repeat. Franche, okay? And then franchement, repeat. Franchement, okay? Net, repeat. Net, okay. And it's quite interesting because the the feminine form is written in a different way, but it's pronounced the same way. So it's net, repeat. Net, okay. And then the adverb gives you the pronunciation netment, repeat. Netment, okay. And then we've got vif, repeat. Vif. Okay, feminine form is vive. Repeat, vive. Okay, and then the adverb is vivement. Repeat, vivement. Okay. Be careful because, as usually in France, you know, I mean French, uh, French language, we've got some uh, exceptions. So let's take a look at a few exceptions, and uh, one of them is uh, prudent. Okay, but more generally, um, let's say adjectives that ends with a, a n t. Okay, so you will get for the adverb it's prudemment. Okay, and the strange thing is that you will write a m m a n t for the adverb, but then you pronounce as if there was a a. Okay, it's prudemment. Okay, prudemment. All right. So let's pronounce together. First, we'll pronounce the adjective. Okay. So it's prudent. Repeat. Prudent. Okay. And then the adverb now is prudemment. Repeat. Prudemment. Okay. So let's see now the second group of strange adverbs. <laughs> so uh, well, uh, they're looking a bit the 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 same way, but it's a n t. Okay. Pronounced the same way. It's courant. Repeat, courant. Okay, and it will transform in into couramment. Repeat, couramment. Okay, so actually the same pronunciation, but then you've got to write this a uh, for this case. Okay, so let's have a look now at the first uh, group of uh, exceptions. So it's évident. Repeat, évident. Okay, and it does give you this évidemment. 
pronunciation. Okay? Évidemment. Évidemment. Repeat. Évidemment. Okay? Second example for this category is violent. Repeat. Violent. And it does give us this adverb violemment. Okay? So same concept. You pronounce it like if there was a violemment. Repeat. Violemment. Okay? Fréquent. Fréquent. Repeat. And then we get fréquemment. Repeat. Fréquemment. Okay? Patient. Repeat. Patient. And then we have patiemment. Repeat. Patiemment. Okay? Récent, repeat, récent, okay, and it does give us this récemment for the adverb, repeat, récemment, okay, inconscient, repeat, inconscient, adverb, inconsciemment, repeat, inconsciemment, okay, so now it was the, the second group of exceptions. So it was this ANT exception. And then the uh, example we've got here is MÉCHANT. Repeat, MÉCHANT. Okay? And it does give us for the adverb MÉCHAMENT. Repeat, MÉCHAMENT. Okay? COURANT. Repeat, COURANT. And the adverb is COURAMENT. Repeat, COURAMENT. Okay, and then suffisant, repeat, suffisant, adverb is suffisamment, repeat, suffisamment, okay, constant, repeat, constant, adverb constamment, repeat, constamment, okay, bruyant, repeat, Bruyant, okay. Bruyamment, repeat. Bruyamment. All right. Let's hope it's clear for you. It was a pleasure for me uh, to be with you during these few minutes. So don't be afraid to watch the video again and again if it's not clear. And uh, well, we'll keep in touch, okay. Hi everyone, bonjour à tous and welcome to La Leçon du Jour. So today we will see a quite important topic, it's les adjectifs ordinaux. So it's, uh, well, maybe a bit long, but it's necessary to know them and uh, master them. So we will see uh, les adjectifs ordinaux right now. So we will use les adjectifs ordinaux pour indiquer un ordre, so an order, and then une chronologie, so events that uh, takes place one after another, okay? So let's start with the, well, the masculine form, because as usual, you know, we've got the masculine form, the feminine form, and the plural form. So yeah, let's start with the masculine now. Uh, so, le premier, all right? So, le premier, repeat, okay? Le deuxième, repeat, le deuxième. Okay, so you can see that I'm pronouncing actually the word written in the orange box. What you see in the green box is the way you can write it if you don't want to write the, the whole thing. Okay. Le troisième. Repeat. Le troisième. Okay. Le quatrième. Repeat. Le quatrième. All right. Le cinquième. Repeat. Le cinquième. Okay. Le sixième. Repeat. Le sixième. So actually what's quite funny with it is that uh, this X in the middle, or maybe not in the middle, but actually in the sixième word, is pronounced like s, -s, s Okay, so it's not X, really. Okay, so you pronounce it like S. So you get this sixième. Z, sixième. Repeat. Okay. And then le septième. Le 
septième. Keep in mind that you don't pronounce this P, ok? Septième, alright? Le huitième. Repeat. Le huitième. Ok, as usual, the first H is not pronounced. And then, last but not least, le neuvième. Repeat. Le neuvième. Ok, be careful because this EU in the neuvième is actually open. It's not E, but it's E. Ok, so it's neuvième. Repeat. Le neuvième. Ok. So, let's see now the feminine form of these and now we've got la première repeat la première okay so don't be afraid to insist insist a little bit eh eh première okay and uh, pronounce it quite correctly because if we don't uh, i mean if you don't then i will uh, understand the premier okay so that's the only only way to make the difference between the masculine and the and the feminine so la première okay Repeat, la première, ok? And then, la deuxième, repeat, la deuxième, ok? La troisième, repeat, la troisième, ok? La quatrième, repeat, la quatrième. La cinquième, repeat, la Cinquième. La sixième. Repeat. La sixième. La septième. Repeat. La septième. La huitième. Repeat. La huitième. La neuvième. Repeat. La neuvième ok and then let's end with the plural form now of these adjectives so we've got les premiers repeat les premiers ok les deuxièmes repeat les deuxièmes les troisièmes repeat les troisièmes les quatrièmes, repeat, les quatrièmes, les cinquièmes, repeat, les cinquièmes, les sixièmes, repeat, les sixièmes, les septièmes, repeat, les septièmes, les huitièmes, Repeat. Les huitièmes. Les neuvièmes. Repeat. Les neuvièmes. Let's hope everything is clear for you. Don't be afraid to watch the video one more time. If it's not, have a nice day and uh, hope to see. Bonjour à tous et bienvenue dans la, la leçon du jour. So, hi everyone and welcome. Today we will see les chiffres. So, les chiffres from 1 to 9. So, let's, uh, let's start right now. You should know them by heart, okay? So, we will focus on that and on the pronunciation. So, 1, repeat, 1, okay? It's quite tricky this one because it's uh, nasal, so it's coming in your nose. Nose, okay. So it's un. Repeat. Okay. So now de. Okay. Final x is not pronounced. Okay. De. Repeat. Okay. And then comes trois. Okay. So remember that o plus i gives you this wa 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 sound. Okay. And then the final s is not pronounced. So you get this trois. Repeat. Trois. Ok. Um, Q plus U gives you the sound K. K. Ok. So in this word, you, you get the sound quatre. Quatre. Repeat. Quatre. Ok. And then cinq. 
Okay, so E plus N, you get the sound 1, 1, 1. Okay, so you get this 5. Repeat. 5. Okay. And then 6. So it's actually quite strange because it's ending with this X, but then the sound, the final sound is S. So you get this 6. Repeat. 6. Okay. And then set. Okay, so the P between E uh and T is not pronounced, so you get this set. Repeat. Set. Okay. And here you get this huit. Huit. Okay, so you pronounce the final T, but then H. So the first letter is not pronounced. So you you get this first sound is U plus I, and it gives you this ui, ui. All right. So you get this huit. Repeat. Huit. Okay. And last but not least, you get neuf. Repeat. Neuf. Okay. So you pronounce the final F. Okay. And then E. Plus U gives you this E uh, neuf neuf. Repeat. Okay, so don't be afraid to watch it again and again if you want to be sure. You should know them by heart. Okay, have a nice day. So today's lesson is les nombres de onze à dix-neuf. So I hope I will have your full concentration on these numbers because they are quite important. So let's start. Onze. Repeat. Onze. Douze. Repeat. Douze. Treize. Repeat. Treize. Quatorze. Repeat. Quatorze. Quinze. Repeat. Quinze. Seize. Repeat. Seize. Dix-sept. Repeat. Dix-sept. Dix-huit. Repeat. Dix-huit. Dix-neuf. Repeat. Dix-neuf. All right. So I guess that now we're done. So keep in mind that. Dix-sept, dix-huit, and dix-neuf are the more logical ones, <laughs> and after that you get to remember them quite uh, good for this onze, douze, treize, quatorze, quinze, seize. Okay, we will use them for this uh, seventy, you know, soixante and then and then for this uh, ninety, so quatre-vingt-dix. So they are actually quite important. All right, so that's it for today. Bye bye. Welcome everyone, and uh, today la leçon du jour uh, is concentrating on uh, les dizaines. So let's uh, let's hope it will be clear for you. So I'm not really sure if we will have fun with this uh, subject, but at least I will try to uh, explain you how to pronounce them correctly, and after that it will be uh, easier for you. And I, I'm expecting you to pronounce them like me. Okay, so let's let's start now. And then we can start with a dis. Okay, so keep in mind that even if you're ending the word with a x, then it's it sounds like s. Okay, so it's dis. Okay, repeat. Mm -hmm. Okay, and next come uh, vingt. Okay, so uh, final t and then the g is coming before are not pronounced, so the 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 sound is vingt. Repeat. Vingt. Okay. And then we get this 
trente. All right. So keep in mind that final e uh, is not uh, pronounced. It only gives you the possibility to be or to pronounce the the, the t coming before. So it's trente. Repeat. Trente. Okay. And then we've got this quarante. Uh, Okay, so same concept as as uh, previously with this final e. Uh, it only gives you the possibility to pronounce the uh, t, and then uh, we've got the q and u at the beginning of the this uh, word. And keep in mind that these two letters combined only gives you the possibility to pronounce k k k k. All right, so you get this k, and after that, quarante. Repeat. Quarante, okay. Cinquante. Repeat. Cinquante. Okay. Keep in mind that Q and U it's the same thing, so it's quante. Okay. Cinquante. Repeat. Cinquante. Okay. And then comes uh, soixante. Okay, so same thing as uh, we had for uh, this. So this uh, X is pronounced like s. Okay, soixante. Repeat, soixante. Okay, don't be afraid to pronounce wa 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 wa. Okay, soi soixante. Okay, and then soixante dix. All right, so it's a bit tricky in French, especially I mean French spoken in in in, uh, in France because elsewhere they manage to find other ways and more logical ones but we've got this soixante dix in France okay repeat soixante dix okay and then comes quatre vingt all right so final s t and g are not pronounced okay and then remember that q and u Give you the the sound k k, so you get quatre vingt. Repeat. All right, and last but not least, quatre vingt dix. Okay, so try to pronounce it like a whole word without uh, making any any breaks. You know, quatre vingt dix. Okay, repeat. Quatre vingt dix. All right. So I do hope that everything is clear now. Try to, well, probably repeat them and remember and maybe write them and pronounce them. And if it, if you're not sure, well, watch the video again and again. Okay, have a nice day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous. Uh, hello everyone. So la leçon du jour for uh, today is le, le verbe être, quite useful one. Uh, so let's start now. So first form for je, it's je suis. So you can notice that the final s is not pronounced. Je suis. Repeat. Je suis. Okay. And then comes tu. Tu es. All right. So you can notice that it's uh, open a a. So don't be afraid to open your mouth. <laughs> you must be on your own now, so you can shout a. Okay, tu es. Repeat. Tu es. Okay, and then for il, masculine, il est. So it's quite strange uh, because it does sound the same as tu, okay, but then there is this final t, but you don't pronounce it. So il est. Repeat. Okay, and the form for l, l est. Repeat. Okay, L E. Mm -hmm. Then for nous, you've got nous sommes. Okay, final S is not pronounced. Nous sommes. Repeat. Nous sommes. The form for vous, vous êtes. So this is the first, just to notice the sound, and after that you should do the liaison. So this small link between the S and the E, so you get vous êtes. Repeat. Vous êtes. Okay, final S, not pronounced. 
and then il and elle, so il, masculine, ils sont. Alright, repeat. Ils sont. Okay, and then the feminine form, elles sont. Repeat. Elles sont. Okay, one important thing regarding this uh, il and elle, so the last one we just saw, uh, keep in mind that the verb avoir, to have, uh, have the, the, this uh, liaison, and so the sound for avoir is ils ont, elles ont, okay, but then for être it's ils sont, elles sont. So actually this uh, first sound, I mean the, this s is the, the, the only way to uh, dissociate uh, add from avoir uh, for il and elle. Okay, so don't be afraid to pronounce this s uh, quite strongly. Okay, so let's do it again. Il sont. Repeat. Elle sont. Repeat. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Hi everyone and welcome to la leçon du jour and today we will see le verbe avoir, a quite useful one. So avoir means to have. So let's start with the pronunciation. First form for je is j'ai. Repeat. J'ai. Second form for tu, it's tu as. Repeat. Tu as. Okay. Third form. Il and elle. So masculine. Il a. Repeat. Il a. Feminine form. Elle. Elle a. Repeat. Elle a. Then come the form for nous. Nous avons. So you can notice that there is a small link be between this S and A. That's what we call the, la liaison. So you get to put this small link. So it's like Z, nous avons. Repeat. Nous avons. And then for vous, same thing. Vous avez. Repeat. Vous avez. Okay. And last but not least. Il. Masculine form. Ils ont. Same thing. Small link. La liaison. Ils ont. Repeat. Ils ont. Okay. And then feminine form. Elle. Same thing. Elles ont. Repeat. Elles ont. Okay, just before leaving you, actually keep in mind that uh, this liaison, this link, is actually quite soft. It not, it's not really strong, and uh, it's especially important for this uh, last part, ils ont and elles ont, because if you make it stronger and too strong, it would sound like ils sont, and in this case, be careful because it's the verb être, to be, okay? So keep in mind that it's really light, and it's like zzz, ils ont. Elles ont. Okay, repeat one last time for the pleasure. Ils ont. Repeat. Okay, and elles ont. Repeat. Okay, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous. So in this uh, lesson, we will focus on uh, le verbe aller. So a quite important verb actually because we can use it quite easily because aller means to go and then we use aller as well for the future proche that we will see a bit later. Okay, so let's start now. Je vais. Repeat. Je vais. Tu vas. Repeat. Tu vas. Il va. Elle va. Repeat. Il va. 
elle va. Nous allons. So you can notice the liaison between S and A. Nous allons. Repeat. Nous allons. Vous allez. So the same thing, the liaison between S and A. Vous allez. Repeat. Vous allez. Ils vont. Elles vont. Repeat. Ils vont. Elles vont. Okay, so I do hope everything is clear now. As I said <laughs> all the time, don't be afraid to watch the video again and again to be sure that you know these verbs by heart. Okay, bye bye. Hi everyone, bonjour pour la, la leçon du jour and today we will see le verbe s'appeler. So s'appeler is quite important because, uh, well that's the verb you're using when you want to introduce the name of someone. And it's uh, quite useful and quite tricky in a way because it does belong to this uh, family of, of verbs that we call les verbes pronominaux or then uh, les verbes réfléchis. Um, so we'll see how, how it does work. Uh, you will see now. Let's go. Okay, so first form for je, it's je m'appelle. Okay, so that's the particularity of these verbs. So you get to add something, and usually for the first form it's me, but then as you've got this voyeur, you know, for the verb appeler, e uh, disappears, and you get this je m'appelle. Repeat. Okay, second form, uh, well, same thing, okay, but then usually for tu, the form is tu, te, and then something in here. We're starting with vo voyeur, so uh, it's the same thing as previously, a uh, disappears, so we, we get this tu t'appelles, okay, final s is not pronounced, tu t'appelles, repeat. Okay, and then come il and elle, so masculine form, il, so usually for il or for elle, third person of the singular, you get this se, okay, se, but then, as previously, we are starting with a voyeur, a, so a disappears, and you get this il s'appelle, repeat. Il s'appelle, okay? And then the feminine form, elle s'appelle. Repeat. Elle s'appelle, okay? And then for nous, so some of the students and some of my students find it quite strange, but then that's the, that's the form for these uh, verbal pronominaux. You've got to repeat uh, nous again. So you get this nous nous, and then Appelons, okay. Keep in mind and try to remember that for this form, uh, you've got only one L. You know, if you compare it to je, tu, il, elle, you can see that for nous, you know, this uh, L, there is only one, okay. So let's pronounce it together and just put some liaison. Nous nous appelons. Repeat. Nous nous appelons. Okay, so you can notice that the pronunciation is a bit different for the verb. It's appelons, okay, because there is only one L there. Nous nous appelons. So repeat. Okay, all right. So next, it's a bit the same concept uh, actually. So you get to repeat vous again, and then you get this vous vous appelez. Okay, same thing, only one L. Vous vous appelez. Okay. Repeat. All right, and finally, so il pluriel uh, masculine form and elle, uh, you get uh, this il s'appelle. All right, so that's the same concept. Usually you should have se, but then I starting with a voyeur, so uh, is disappearing, and you get this il s'appelle. Repeat. Okay, il s'appelle. All right, and then elle, elle s'appelle. Repeat. Elle s'appelle. 
okay so if you noticed actually between this il and l so the plural form and then the singular form it's uh, actually it's the same form so uh, if you only listen to them to them it's the, the same pronunciation okay il s'appelle elle s'appelle repeat okay so let's hope everything is clear now don't be afraid to watch it again and again all right have a nice day bye bye Bonjour tout le monde, c'est la leçon du jour. So today we will uh, see uh, le verbe faire. So faire means to do and it's a quite useful verb and also a bit tricky. You will see why. So now we can start. So first form for je, it's je fais. Okay, so final S is not pronounced. Je fais. Repeat. Je fais. Okay. Second form, tu fais. So same form, same pronunciation, the final S is not pronounced. Tu fais. Repeat. Tu fais. Okay? And then come il masculine and elle feminine. So il fait. Same pronunciation, so final T is not pronounced. Il fait. Repeat. Il fait. Okay, and then feminine form, elle fait. So same thing, final T is not pronounced. Elle fait, repeat. Elle fait. Okay, then comes nous. Nous faisons. So here it's quite tricky because actually we write it R E, faisons, but then we pronounce it faisons. Okay, and then final S is not pronounced. So, nous faisons. Repeat. Nous faisons. Okay, so here come the strange form. Uh, logically, we could put this vous faisiez, but then no, it's vous faites. Okay, keep in mind that final S is not pronounced. Vous faites. Okay, repeat. Vous Faites. All right, and then fin finally, so il masculine and elle feminine, uh, il font. Okay, so we've got this uh, nasal o n on. Okay, and then the final t is not pronounced, so il font. Repeat. Okay, and then feminine form, elle font. Same thing, o n on and then final t is not pronounced okay elle font repeat elle font okay so that's it for today don't be afraid to watch it again and again to be sure that you know and you master the verb faire thank you very much okay bye bye hi everyone bonjour à tous and welcome to la leçon du jour so today we will try to See one important verb, it's uh, partir. Okay, so partir is to leave. Uh, quite usually we, we, we saw the noun, it's uh, départ, le départ, okay, in an airport for example. Okay, but now it's the verb partir. So let's start with the first form. First person of the singular is je, and then we get this je pars. Okay, so it's uh, ending with a s, but then we don't pronounce it, so je pars. Repeat. Je pars. Okay, and then for two we've got this tu pars. So second person tu, tu pars. Repeat. Okay, so it's the same form as you noticed. Okay, it ends with a S but we don't pronounce it. Okay, and then il, elle, il part. Repeat. Il part. And then elle, elle part. Repeat. Elle part. All right, so, well, as usual, not all the time, but quite often, we've got the same form for je, tu, il, and elle. I mean, the same form, the form you will pronounce, okay? So, for je, it's par, tu, par, il, par, elle, par, okay? But keep in mind that, of course, you've got to write the final S for je and tu, and then the final T for in, il, and elle, okay? So, let's see nous now. So first person of the plural, it's nous, and then we get nous partons. Repeat, 
nous partons. Okay, so final S is not pronounced as usual, so you only need to pronounce at the end this uh, nasal, so O-N, on, 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 all right, nous partons, repeat. Okay, second person of the plural it's vous, and then we have vous partez, repeat. Vous partez, okay, so remember that this final EZ, okay, give you the sound E. Alright, so it's vous partez. Repeat. Okay. And last but not least, third person of the plural. And as usual, we've got we've got il and l. So uh, let's start with il. Il part. Repeat. Il part. Okay. And then keep in mind that it's a bit tricky and it's a bit strange. But the final e and t is not pronounced okay it only gives you the possibility to pronounce the the t just before so you get the sound part part okay so il part all right and then same form for l l part repeat l part okay so je pars tu pars il part elle part nous partons Vous partez, ils partent, elles partent. Hope everything is clear now. Have a nice day. Don't be afraid to watch the video again. Okay. Bonjour à tous. Hi everyone. And welcome to la leçon du jour. So how about uh, learning a useful verb today? So the verb is prendre. And prendre means to take. Okay. So let's start and have a look at the forms. So the first person of the singular, je, it's je prends. Repeat. Je prends. Okay. So you can see that we've got uh, S at the end and then D as well, but then we don't pronounce them. So actually, the only thing we will pronounce for this form is P R E N, and it's the sound prend. Okay. Repeat. Okay. And for tu, so it's tu prends. Repeat. Tu prends. And you can notice it's. It's actually the same same form as for uh, for je. Okay, so final s and then the d before you don't pronounce them. Okay, il and l. So masculine il we get il prend. Okay, so same pronunciation. Final d is not pronounced, so it's only the p r e n prend. Okay, repeat. Il prend. Okay, and then l prend. Repeat. L prend. Okay, so. Just you can notice that je, tu, il, and elle are just pronounced the same way. Je prends, tu prends, il prend, elle prend. Okay, but uh, remember to put the final s for je and tu. All right. So let's have a look now with the nous first person of the plural. It's nous prenons. Okay, and keep in mind that e is pronounced like e, pre, pre. Okay, nous prenons. Repeat. Nous prenons. Yeah, that's it. Second person, it's vous, and then we get vous prenez. Repeat. Vous prenez. Okay, so actually for nous and vous, we've got the classical endings. Okay, so for nous, usually it's O-N-S, and then for vous, it's usually E-Z. Okay, so nothing really special for this form. Okay, and then finally, il and elle at the plural form, so il prennent, repeat, ils prennent, okay, so you can notice that the first E of prenne is pronounced like E, E, and the reason for that is that you, you've got a double N after that, so it changes the pronunciation of the E, okay, so that's the reason why you've got il prennent, repeat, il Okay, and keep in mind that, as usual for this third person of the plural, this ENT, the final one is not pronounced, okay? So for L, we've got L PREN. Repeat. L PREN. Okay, so let's see one more time. Je prends. Repeat. Tu prends. Il prend. Elle prend. Nous prenons, vous prenez, ils prennent, elles prennent. 
all right so let's hope everything is clear if it's not clear then you know how it works just watch the video again and again okay have a nice day bye bye bonjour à tous uh, welcome everyone this is la leçon du jour and today we will see uh, le verbe savoir so savoir is quite useful because it does mean to know okay so let's start with the first form First person of the singer, it's je, and then we get the form je sais. Repeat, je sais. Okay, so you can see that we've got a final S, but as usual, we don't pronounce it, so it's je sais, all right? Second form, it's tu sais. Okay, so actually the same form, tu sais. Repeat. Okay. Third person of the singer, il and elle, and what a surprise! Uh, same form, il sait. Repeat. Elle sait. Repeat. Okay, so as not usual, but in many cases for je, tu, il and elle, we've got the same form that you, you have to pronounce, so it's sait. Okay, but then keep in mind that it ends with s for je and tu, and it ends with t for Il and elle. Okay, so have a look at the first person of the plural. Now it's nous, and then we get this nous savons. Repeat. Nous savons. Okay, final s not pronounced as usual, so you get the final on. Okay, that's the sound you get at the end. Nous savons. All right. So now vous, and then we get this vous savez. Repeat. Vous savez, okay? Keep in mind that this ending EZ, okay, is pronounced like E, E, okay? Vous savez. Repeat. Okay, and last but not least, the plural form, so third person of the plural, so it's IL masculine, elle feminine, so let's start with IL. IL SAVE. Repeat. IL SAVE. Okay, so keep in mind that E and T, okay, the ending is not is not pronounced, so it's only SAV, V, 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 it ends with the sound V, okay, ils savent, repeat, okay, and the same form for L, elles savent, repeat, elles savent, okay, so let's see again, je sais, tu sais, il sait, elle sait, nous savons, vous savez, ils savent, Elle save. And I do hope that now you know this form and this verb. So if it's not really clear, don't be afraid to watch the video one more time. Okay. Hi everyone, bonjour à tous et bienvenue dans la leçon du jour. So welcome in the French lesson of the day. And today we'll see le verbe pouvoir. So a quite useful verb because it does mean to can. So let's see how it goes now. So for the first person, je, it's je peux. Repeat, je peux. So actually you don't pronounce the final X. Second person, tu, tu peux. So you can see that it's exactly the same way of writing it and exactly the same of pronouncing it. You don't pronounce the final X. So it's je, tu peux. Okay, so let's see how il goes. Il peut. All right, so same way of pronunciation. You've got a T at the end, but then you don't pronounce it. Il peut. Okay. Elle, feminine form, third person of the singular, and it's the same way. Elle peut. Repeat. Elle peut. Okay, so let's see how it goes for the plural. And then be careful because for nous, it's changing a little bit. Nous pouvons. Okay, so you write this O U and you pronounce it OU. Okay, so if you combine it, you NOU POUVONS. Okay, you don't pronounce the final S. NOU POUVONS. Repeat. NOU POUVONS. Okay, so for VOUS, it's a little bit the same. It's VOUS POUVEZ. Okay, so you keep this P O U V, but then you put the ending for VOUS. The classical ending is a Z, okay, you combine it, vous pouvez, repeat, vous pouvez, okay, for il au pluriel, then you get il peuvent, repeat, il peuvent, 
okay so as usual you get this uh, nt at the end but then you don't pronounce it you only pronounce il pev okay and well last but not least l and it's actually the same form as it was for il l pev so the same rule final uh, nt is not pronounced so you get l pev okay so let's see again how it goes repeat je peux tu peux il peut elle peut nous pouvons vous pouvez ils peuvent elles peuvent okay i hope it was clear for you don't be afraid to watch the video again and again have a nice day au revoir bye bye hi everyone bonjour à tous and welcome to la leçon du jour so today we will see a quite useful verb it's the verb vouloir vouloir means to want okay so i'm really sure you want to learn this verb Let's start with the first person from the singular, and it's je, okay? And the form we get is je veux. Repeat. Je veux, okay? So you can see that the final X is not pronounced, okay? It's je veux. E, je veux, all right? Second person, it's tu veux. And you can notice that it's actually the same form, so same pronunciation, it's tu veux. Repeat. Tu veux. Okay. Third person, it's il and elle. So masculine is il. Il veut. Repeat. Il veut. Okay. So you can see that final T is not pronounced. So it's actually the same pronunciation as we had for je and tu. Okay. So repeat. Il veut. Okay. Elle. Well, you can see that it's the same pronunciation. So it's elle veut. Repeat. Elle veut. Okay, so je, tu, il, and elle are just pronounced the same way, okay? And the sound is veut, okay? But keep in mind that for je and tu, you get to put x at the end, and then for il and elle, you get to put t at the end, okay? So, now for nous, first person of the plural, so it's nous voulons, okay? Final s is not pronounced, nous voulons, repeat. Okay, second person, it's vous voulez. Repeat. Vous voulez. All right. So, actually, quite classical endings, you know. For nous, it's O-N-S, and for vous, it's a Z. Okay, and keep in mind that it's vous voulez form. A Z, when you combine them, especially with the verbs at the endings, it sounds like E. Okay, so it's vous voulez. Okay, so don't pronounce the Z. Okay. And then, last but not least, third person of the plural. So it's il masculine, l feminine. So let's start with il, and then we get this il vel. All right. So uh, it's not so deep. Actually, it's quite open. It's vel, vel. Okay. The final e and t is not pronounced. Okay. So actually, you only pronounce this v e u l and quite light. Okay. So it's il vel. Repeat. Il veut. Okay. Same form. Elle veut. Repeat. Elle veut. Okay. So let's see that again before leaving you. Je veux. Tu veux. Il veut. Elle veut. So actually the same form. Nous voulons. Vous voulez. Ils veulent. Elles veulent. Okay. I do hope everything is clear for you. If it's not, don't be afraid to watch the video one more time. Okay, bye-bye. A... Bonjour à tous. Hi, everyone, and welcome to La Leçon du Jour. And today we will see the verb uh, venir. So venir means to come, so it's quite useful, and we use it quite often. So let's start with the first form. First person of the singular, it's je. And then the form we get is je viens. Repeat. Je Vient. Okay, so you can notice that it's ending with S, but we don't pronounce it. So we actually only pronounce V, so the V, and then the Y, Y, Y. Okay, so let's combine them and we get Vient. Repeat. Je viens. Okay. Second person, it's Tu, and then we get actually the same sound. Tu viens. Repeat. Tu 
vient. Ok. Third person of the singular, it's il masculin, elle féminin. So the masculine form, it's il vient. Repeat. Il vient. Ok. Final T is not pronounced, so you get the same form as for je and tu. All right. And then elle, it's the same thing. Elle vient. Repeat. Elle vient. Ok. So je, tu, il and elle are actually pronounced the same way. Ok. But then je and tu is ending with a S and then il and L, the same form is ending with a T. Ok. So let's see nous. First person of the plural, it's nous. And then we get this nous venons. Ok. Keep in mind that E is pronounced like E. So it's the, 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 venons. Final S is not pronounced. Ok. Nous venons. Repeat. Nous venons. Ok. Second person of the plural, it's vous. And then we get the sound vous venez. Repeat. Vous venez. Ok. If you look at the form, so it's ending with a Z. Ok. But then when these two letters are co are combined like that, you get the sound E. Ok. So it's venez. Repeat. Vous venez. Ok. And then let's finish with the third person of the plural. So masculine, il. Ok. So you get this il vienne. Repeat. Il vient. Okay, so if you notice, actually, the first E uh, is pronounced like E, E, E. Okay, it's vie, vie, vienne. Repeat. Vienne. Okay, so it's pronounced like that just because you've got a double N right after it. So it opens the pronunciation of the E, uh, so it's E. Okay, vienne. All right. And the final uh, NT is not pronounced, so it's il vien. Repeat. Okay. Same thing for L, so same form. L vien. Repeat. L vien. Okay. So let's say again one more time. It's je viens, tu viens, il vient, elle vient, nous venons, vous venez, ils viennent, and elles viennent. I hope everything is clear for you. Okay, don't be afraid to watch it one more time, as the French say. Uh, have a nice day, okay? And, uh, and have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>